cleaned up at the Bigfoot Criterium. Got Tim Gilligan, winner of the Buffalo Stage 3 Road Race in front of me. Terry Feather, good job putting on the race this weekend. Mark Light, bigger gear. And we're off. It's a beautiful sunny Sunday morning in Office Park Paradise. We've got the Masters 45 field of the Bigfoot Endurance Criterium for Parkinson's Research. We're in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. 45 Masters racers are taking to the line. You never know if somebody's gonna launch it from the gun here and with an early race attack, but that didn't happen. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward to some action. Okay, we're about three laps in and we've got what looks like a serious attack here from one of the Bigfoot riders. He's up the road up front in his orange jersey. I'm gonna swing off here and see if anybody else wants to chase this down. I don't wanna be the guy to chase everything down, so I'm looking for a little bit of help here. And right on cue, here comes the cavalry. We got a line of interested guys here, and I'm gonna jump on the back and hitch a ride up to the front of this breakaway attempt. At this point, as we catch the Bigfoot rider, there's gonna be a little bit of disorganization here, a little bit of hesitance. People aren't ready to work together just yet. This is the perfect time for a counterattack. And right on cue, here goes a, an attack from the Active Yards team going up on the inside there. And he's attracted the interest of a couple other strong riders. And right away, he's got a gap going. So that gap is getting bigger already as a couple of the Active Yards teammates park it on the front. So I'm going to jump on this. I'm going to hitch a ride here with this guy. We got a slight uphill here, a little bit of a headwind, nothing too crazy, but we're going to put in a big dig to get up to this breakaway and bridge the gap as soon as possible. Okay, I make it onto the back of this breakaway group here, and we've got separation from the main field. Things are looking pretty good. We've got one jersey from all of the major teams represented here. I like this combination of guys. I think we've got enough horsepower to make this work. If we can all work together, we could probably go the distance to the finish here. The rider in front of me pulls out a line, decides he's not gonna do any work or contribute to the breakaway. So we get a little bit disorganized here. I put in a little bit of extra power, get up to the front here. I'm gonna invest some energy in this breakaway. Hopefully we can make this work. As we go to this slight downhill here, we've got a fast 90 degree corner. All the pavement is beautiful here in this office park. Turns are really nice and wide. I'm gonna pull through, take a short 15 second pull here. Get us up this little rise. I'm gonna pull off and have a look behind me and check on our status. Unfortunately, it's not good. The main field is not happy with this combination of riders. They've uh, chased us down and they're about two seconds away from getting back onto us. So I'm gonna shut down my effort here. I'm gonna stay near the front so I can keep an eye on things. As you know, counterattacks are textbooks, so wanna be ready for that. Here comes a move from the CS Velo Rider. This guy's pretty strong, 
real smooth. You can tell by the way he's just moving up and maybe he's going to reanimate this breakaway. So I want to stay near the front and just in case this turns into another opportunity. Okay, we're on lap number nine. Another series of attacks here. We got Active Yards launching an attack again. They've brought a full complement of riders to this race. I think they've got six or seven guys. So they can just keep launching attacks one after the other. And that can wear you out if you try to chase every one of them. You gotta pick and choose and hope that some other people in the field are interested and neutralize these attacks or that you get onto the right one that turns into the winning breakaway. Bigfoot moving up to the front again, injecting a little bit more pace. I'm going to take a wait and see approach here and see what happens, see if the rest of the field or some other strong guys are interested in chasing this down. I know with some really strong teams in this race. I can't do it. Just me and one other rider will be brought back. And here we go. This looks good. Bunch of strong guys coming to the front. So I'm going to jump onto this. want to be a part of this train. And it looked like we were going to get going pretty good here, but there's really a lack of commitment here. This group is not going to get organized. We're going to have a guy here signaling for us to rotate, but nobody really wants to put in the work and get this done. Looks like the field's going to stay together and we're going to end up with a field sprint. We've got about two laps left to go here. Things are winding down. To be perfectly honest, the pace has been pretty comfortable up until this point. I've managed to stay within the first 10 guys in the field, keeping an eye on everything. Just watching attacks go, picking and choosing which ones are going to be good. We've got the rider from CS Velo launching an attack again. This could be one of those that go for the last two laps. Again, he looks really strong today, so I'm going to jump on the back of some other riders, see if they're going to bring him back. I thought about going with him, but I'm going to bide my time and wait for this to all come back together. I hope I'm right about that. It's two laps to go as we come through start finish here and catch up to what was left of that breakaway. We've got the active yards team bringing a lead out train to the front of the field. Really good organization here between these teammates and very fortunate for me, very opportunistic move on my part. I'm going to jump into this train and take a free ride to the finish line. They've got six or seven guys here. They're dragging us up this hill into this headwind. I'm not quite on the wheels, but I'm getting a little bit of shelter here, a little bit of echeloning. Coming up on one lap to go here. Still fighting for a position in this train. Trying to get on the back of this rider's wheel here. And the number three guy in the line lets a little gap open. I'm going to jump in here. This is a perfect opportunity for me to ride this all the way out to the finish. Coming into the final few hundred meters of this race here, I've got an attack coming up on my outside. Heard him coming over my left shoulder. I'm just going to jump on this wheel. Things are really ramping up right now. I got an itchy trigger finger. I'm ready to sprint. 
and I'm gonna go now. It is really early. This is pretty much a long way out. I'm a little worried about it, but I've committed and I'm just gonna put my head down and hope that I have enough gas to make it to the finish. I can feel another rider coming up on my left side. I'm just digging deep. And at the end, I've got it. I take the win. I was able to keep almost the whole bike length on the next guy behind me. I want to thank the big guy group timing services for shooting me this picture, sending it to my email so I could share it with you guys. Ron Short on the podium picture. I'll put a link to him in the description below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'll see you on the next one.